this is the lecture number one and uh, today we are going to see the introduction to ai so uh, everybody is okay with that is there any problem we are going to see the introduction of introduction to ai is it fine yes sir uh, yes, please sir. type please type fine yeah okay i think a uh, lot of okays are coming but i have a problem okay so you can tell me sir what is this uh, why it is two why it is not to it should be what should it should be introduction to ai so uh, do you see that there is any problem in this is it fine is it fine is it fine or is there any problem if i write like this introduction to ai is no, there a pro no problem no problem <laughs> no problem okay thank you very much so why it is not a problem uh, we have to apply our uh, some intelligence to understand My the contest God. you understand you have applied an intelligence it's a totally wrong thing that i have written on my first slide nobody can accept it okay if i write this into my examination my class teacher is going to cut this and give me a zero marks what is this for introduction to ai so it's a slang language but it is a intelligence that you have that you are able to understand that this is two okay so this is very important okay that you are actually going to bring the context into the discussion and this is the very important thing that what is the intelligence today in this particular session we are going to understand about the intelligence what in general intelligence is why we want to bring it to the computer what are the ways to bring this to the computer what are the challenges and what are the things that till now people have achieved to find out that okay so we should start by this particular slide because if you understand intelligence then only you can think to bring that to the computers make sense okay so uh, if you if you want to bring the intelligence to the computer let's first see that what the computer is what is computer okay this is a computer if you if you try to find out the definition of the computer on the wikipedia so it says something like this a computer is a device that can be instructed to carry out sequence of arithmetic and logical operations my god it can it is a simple device that can carry out only sequence of arithmetic and logical operations automatically means you need not to tell if you write something sequence then those sequence are followed this is the only thing that it is going to tell such a simple thing can it behave intelligently i don't know but let's assume that it behaves something something happened and because of this this particular device is behaving intelligent intelligently are smartly okay something happened because of this this particular device is behaving uh, smartly okay then where is the intelligence is the intelligence is inside this particular machine where is the intelligence because this machine can only uh, perform arithmetic and logical operation whether this machine is in uh, whether the intelligence is inside in this computer the answer is no intelligent is with that particular programmer who has written the code for that and therefore code is behaving intelligently since we have written a code that can behave intelligently so that person that who has actually inculcated that particular thing human the programmer he has the intelligence this machine does not have the intelligence this is very important to understand okay okay but we want the intelligent into the computer my idea our idea was now you understand that if you write some program then there is no intelligence into the computer okay then what would be the thing when you can tell that the intelligence is inside the computer so the same task this thing the task of the programmer if this task can be done by the computer make sense yes if this task in the task of writing because the computer can only perform the logical and arithmetic operations so if this task the task of writing program can be done by the computer then we can say that it also has the intelligence okay so there is a computer and it is going to produce me a programming code if it can it can do that i can say that okay now computer has now my this particular computer now my this particular specified computer has what it has intelligence so how can it do that in the same way the people are doing okay 
they have some uh, some databases that how what are the previous program and how they are working because programmer also had does the into the same way na? he writes some program he see that what is the output and based on that database understanding that what are the program what is input output and he uses his his experience that he have learned something that if i write the program in this way it is better write in this way this is not better he knows that what are the labels labels means what you know that everything has a name okay if i have a pen then you can write pen column and so many names okay in different things you can write the different things so what is their labels and what is their inter in their interactions by combining the label interaction and the available history then only you can write something if you come if a computer can use all these things to write a program then i can say that my computer has a intelligence make sense okay uh, the idea is this that intelligence is the property of human okay well, we are intelligent huh? we generally we say that human are intelligent but if this computer is showing intelligence if the computer started showing intelligence then whether it would be a human intelligent or in in the terms that we generally use the intelligence na? there is a human part is hidden so whether it would be human intelligence no no it's not it would not be the human intelligence it would be something else okay it is something else since it is showing something intelligence he is showing the behavior i can say that it is artificial this intelligence is artificial now you know that what is artificial intelligence a computer when it shows intelligence it is artificial intelligence sir what is the difference between automation and ai okay very good question okay uh, okay so we would uh, we would like students to answer okay so automation is something is happening automatically okay for example if if i if i draw a circle okay i am going to draw a circle okay and there is a bullet uh, there is a cart uh, you know that there, there is a there is a Uh, ox sitting. Uh, th there is a device over here. He is, for example, when you uh, play. Let's assume that you have a train, toy train. Okay, you are putting on this, and toy train is moving here and there. It is automatically moving. Okay. AI is extension of the automation, automation with the intelligence added. can i answer everybody can answer okay please answer okay please answer ai is ex extension of automation with intel intelligence added okay are bhai ai is artificial intelligence okay and where is the intelligence added intelligence is this na we are ai is intelligence okay using intelligence what you want to do question is that using the intelligence what you want to do you want to think something you have to build something you want to do automation everything is possible so try to understand answer. yeah yeah please go ahead yeah yeah sorry sorry just just want to answer in, in my thought so so basically automation is where where we have automated certain thing to follow the certain path in every time like if if there is some manual work being done and then we have written something or if, if we have created something which will follow to make it automate but the ai is something which which, which will uh, kind of has its own intelligence and uh, which will improve uh, uh, itself by by having the experience like even even if we can say it automation but uh, beyond the time it will improve itself to make it work better or to make, make it uh, you can say do it better way thank you thank you alok uh, but uh, let me tell you that you have used two three uh, things okay i wanted to just provide a feedback one thing that you told that automation is something if i want to do the automatic okay you cannot use the automation word to define the automation okay means automation is something that you, it that is happening without humans interaction intervention you can say like that but you cannot say that automation is something that is happening automatically second thing intelligence is here okay i am going to tell the you the intelligence what is intelligence you know we would more more discuss about this into later slides but if i have the intelligence whether it is a human intelligence or the artificial intelligence this is a different kind of thing if i have an intelligence what i do with the intelligence 
thing about the intelligent people vivekanand was intelligent let's assume okay what he was doing with intelligence whether he was doing any automation maybe or maybe not okay intelligent can be used for what so there could be different purposes for the intelligence intelligent is something different if you apply intelligence into the automation automation would be better these are the two different thing automation things happening automatically things things happening without anybody's intervention okay this is the automation intelligence is something we have to understand this is the subject matter of today's class we are going to talk much more about this okay what is intelligence and we have few minutes back established that what is the artificial intelligence if you are till now we are okay hai na have i answered your question yeah 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 bill okay okay so intelligence we are talking about the intelligence and now our objective is to make the computers who are intelligent okay and at the time when they these computers would have uh, intelligence i would see i would say that it is an artificial intelligence okay uh now the, we will come to this uh, this particular question that uh, if i have an intelligent what i would do with the intelligence what is the manifestation of the intelligence so the manifestation is this that you either do mundane task or you do some formal task or you do some task okay essentially you do some task if you have the intelligent so intelligent would be shown in terms of your tasks when you are performing any kind of task the intelligent would be shown into your task so we can find out three categories there are three categories of the task that people actually perform and these categories of task are called mundane task formal task and expert task would come to these slides uh, these terms in more detail into the next slide so these are the three kind of thing that we do there these are the three kind of task first is the mundane task formal task and expert kind of task so in the mundane task there could be multiple thing if a system have achieved the intelligence uh, look i am asking a different question if the system has achieved the intelligence how can i tell that yes the system has achieved the intelligence if a computer system if a computer if a device if a machine have achieved the intelligence how can say that actually it has attained the artificial intelligence the answer to this particular question is this that the system would be able to pass a test called the turing test there is something very interesting we would again come back to this particular thing right now just understand these three these two things one that what are the tasks what are the tasks that we do and what is the test if we if we can if the machine can pass the turing test then we are done and let me tell you that we are very near to build the system that are able to pass the turing test under certain conditions the system are able to pass the test but in general they are not able to pass but very soon we would be able to see this okay when i tell this to you i must have to put a caveat that you know that computer also have a kind of um, limitation they are not they, they are not the god machines okay they have the limitation and we know that there are few things which the computer cannot solve there are many tasks with the computer cannot solve and surely we can tell because we have proof there are few tasks which the computer cannot do uh, any any idea about that any idea about such task uh, yes own decision own decision making correct so there is there is there is some technical name also anybody knows computer cannot think okay but but i am talking i am talking about something that has a proof that the, the computer cannot do this don't think in terms of the intelligence i am telling you physical task a uh, physical task using actu actuators it does you know that okay oh. emotional intelligence it's on the okay. computer <laughs> no no they are, logic, are, and get all when, when the light goes logic. and it comes it, there are systems that can automatically switch on huh? tell me Uh, okay, okay. I think. Uh, or I, get and get and not get. 
Correct. I think I have I have asked I have asked more fundamental question in a wrong way, so that you can not answer this thing. Otherwise, I know that answer is known to everybody. So let me once again try to ask this question: Is there any task that the computer cannot do? Which yes, computer can, cannot do? Surely no. there is a proof. Yeah, surely computer cannot do the out of thinking uh, mm -hmm. other than the logic. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, maybe it's not interact with the human perfectly. Have you heard about this halting problem? Is there anyone who have heard about this? No. Are nobody is telling that he they had heard about this. Halting problem is a very simple problem. If I have a code. Uh, can the computer tell that this program uh, this code is going to uh, finish or not because in the computer there could be a infinite loop and if i give this computer to ah yes somebody has written decide if the computer can stop so this is a very simple uh, simple uh, kind of problem where i have a program and i want to ask from the computer can you tell me that whether this program would stop or not so this problem is called the halting problem Okay, and there are proofs that computer cannot solve this particular problem. Why? Because one way, one one simple way is this: that you give to the computer, and computer is going to execute it, and then it is going to tell. But in the cases when the computer actually is stuck, it does not uh, come out of the loop. The computer would not come out of the loop, and it would not give the answer no. It would always for the programs with the computer actually terminate. It is going to tell me that I am going to terminate. But for others, it can tell something very different. For example, I can write a for loop. Okay, let's assume that I can write a for loop that takes 1,000 years, 10,000 years. Let's assume for loop. I have evaluated everything that how much time it is required. At least the code is going to take 10,000 years, and then after that, it is going to terminate. If I give it to program and computer start executing that, will he able to tell that? No. There should be something else. to understand this and they are very interesting proofs so i uh, i give you a homework to all of you okay the first homework is that on the youtube you search for the proof for the halting problem immediately you would be able to find out a uh, first video okay and there is a very uh, good uh, uh, visualization also they have actually created uh, just go and see that so what i wanted to tell i wanted to tell that there are many problems and there are many problems which are actually difficult in terms of the complexities which the computer cannot solve so now we have a machine at our disposal that is not a god machine it has a problem it cannot solve everything so try to understand that it is not going to solve every problem it has a limitations and using that limitation we want to build the intelligence into the system make sense yes or no happy basically uh, computer uh, cannot solve their own problem also so that we can also say okay 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 good so uh, uh, less number of likes i'm getting so uh, today i <laughs> i feel like that <laughs> i am Uh, I am a YouTuber, right? In the YouTuber, in the live, their live session, they ask for the give me the like and etc. It is very really useful, sir. It is very really useful. Ah, so so I think I think you, you must enjoy the lecture, and if whenever you have a doubt, please interact and ask us. Okay, thank you. Okay, so hope you understand this particular part that there are few problems which the computer far sure there are proof that computer cannot do using this kind of very simple machine. which can only perform the arithmetic and logical operation in a sequential manner we want to build intelligence into the system now let us try to closely look on the task which actually we do if you have a intelligence okay so i told you that there are three categories of task i don't know that how much uh, my slides are visible to you so uh, can you see it very well that intelligent task are i told you that mundane formal and expert task three different kind of task are there okay three different kind of task are there what is mundane task oh full mundane task are those tasks which are every day you do okay for example when you are uh, when you get up into the morning you go and clean your teeth okay so this is a mundane task okay teeth cleaning is a mundane task every day you do may i ask you does it require intelligence yes or no 
please type yes or no does it require intelligence no it doesn't re require shri is telling no intelligence no 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 everybody is telling this is a mundane task somebody is telling yes little bit maybe <laughs> let me tell you that this requires lot of intelligence you don't you don't agree with me so next day tomorrow uh, you when you are going to clean your teeth you change your hand you change your hand instead of the right hand you use the left hand let me give you something else when you write something on the on the paper do you think it is an intelligent task if i say that right hello yes they're not very intelligent task because you are not thinking that you are right doing any intelligent task you just write hello but if i say that please change your hand instead of right hand you use the left hand instead of left hand you use the right hand immediately you would be into the trouble you would not able to do anything why because it requires intelligence and our brain you know that there is a very important book called thinking fast and slow it says that our brain has two part our brain has two part one is the one is the deeper part and another is a shallow part okay front part frontal part and the deeper part so if you want to do something the frontal part does not have any kind of intelligence it does not have very less intelligence it does not have intelligence driving car yes when you are driving a car do you think that you are doing an intelligent task but ask any new person to drive the car he would not be able to drive why it is happening i am telling you that brain is actually hierarchical what happens if we if you want to do some task you are going to you are going to ask from this brain only but this brain is not going to answer you so it is going to contact contact the deeper brain that how to do that i i am into trouble so he actually he is a more knowledgeable he perform the task and um, find out the right solution and give it to the person so that he can execute next time the same task is coming for example when you are driving the same kind of uh, road condition is coming that some car is coming in front of you or whatever scenario so same kind of scenario is coming in front of you every time you are going to you are going to the deep brain and asking the thing so deep brain says that okay why you are making me uh, why you are giving me this trouble so you take this particular part na because i have solved this thing i know that what is the solution you take this part here he send this solution to the outer part and now this time if the new problem is coming it is directly getting answered okay so the brain makes a kind of a small small circuits specialized circuits to do some kind of task that's why na if i if i throw a ball in front of you and ask you that can you hit the six you would not be able to hit the six but sachin tendulkar would be hit able to hit virat kohli would be able to hit because he's he is trying he every day uh, doing this task uh, for 5 years 5 uh, hours 6 hours so he know he have done a lot of practices his brain is only doing this particular task no other task he is doing okay so the brain actually make this particular part okay give it give a shortcut to you okay and this shortcut is used for by at the later point of steps so many many such things are and many such things are actually made out of here something is made to clean your teeth to write a b c d if i want to uh, if i ask you that write apple okay so uh, are you thinking that how to write a are you thinking how to write p these things are coming from here okay maybe if i ask you a different uh, word then it goes to find out that what is the e spelling of that particular thing but writing a b c d is actually here that's why uh, we practice the students uh, the, at the uh, at the uh, at the um, second grade or third grade student we tell them that you um, learn the tables do ka do do duni char they have to run uh, they have to uh, mug it so that it becomes a hard wire into their brain and whenever a problem comes that there is 5 multiplied by 3 they need not to think about that it immediately comes from their brain so this is the part that is important so mundane for the mundane task and and, and also let me tell you one thing if something is here it is very much responsive because if you want to do something it goes here immediately you get the answer otherwise if you go to this particular part it is going to take much longer time so quick response based systems are actually here make sense 
so mundane task are these task which are actually which you are going which you are actually for example teeth cleaning driving writing something writing a b c d these things when it becomes very mundane to you it becomes a mundane task okay so um, and and uh, very very uh, very near example is the vision okay when i am telling something to you you are able to understand it is a speech okay very speech you are able to understand you can speak without thinking that what to speak vision is also into the same way that if something is uh, something is written on this particular board you need not to consult a dictionary to know that what i'm what is written on the board okay natural language process, processing in the nlp domain understanding and uh, to generate something to translate something all these things become so common to us that we uh, do these things okay common sense reasoning common sense is very uncommon have you heard of, about this sentence if i have a glass in my hand and there is some water inside it if i drop it water is going to spill if you are sitting over here if i throw a ball to you you would be able to lift your hand and catch that particular ball i am sorry i am not good into the drawing okay you would be able to catch that particular ball immediately common sense okay that where the ball was going i can raise the hand and i can click that robot control repetitive task all these things are mundane task okay these are very simplified task that if you do i say that you are intelligent okay what i'm telling few minutes back we are talking about not driving it is an intelligent task cleaning is an intelligent task where is the for example when simple mopping is an intelligent task where is the dirt and i have to go to that particular point and i have to clean that intelligent task so these are the mundane task then comes the formal task this is also intelligent task and formal task means at the task when when i subject to you in this kind of task you think that you are doing actually the intelligent task for example uh, playing chess game playing such as game playing chess cricket uh, checkers any kind of uh, game when you are going to play you think that you are actually doing something intelligent task because you have defeated the opponent something like that in the mathematics if you go to the class for example when you are sitting in front of me you may be thinking that you are doing intelligent task okay you are learning something you are telling something you are interacting with me this is an intelligent task this is a second kind of task where you are aware what is the difference between the previous and here you are aware here you are not aware okay here you are not aware that you are doing a task but these thing are also intelligent task and third set of task are the expert task expert task you are know that uh, okay this is a intelligent task but i would not do that only the person who is designated is going to do for example doctor okay if it's a if it's a medical uh, prescription so even if the computers are very good they can only generate that it looks like that this medicine is going to be uh, more suitable for the patient but doctor would is going to tell formal task are done by deeper section of the brain formal task are done by the deeper section uh, maybe expert task okay uh, because formal task also you can get the um, get the expertise okay if you are expert of something so it goes inside your uh, frontal part okay how come robot control is under the mundane okay so uh, robot control when i write robot control na i i say that intelligent okay intelligent intelligent robot control only i am talking about okay it's not the simple something like that that there is a track and there is a uh, the toy train it is running over there it is not intelligent but doing some kind of interaction i am thinking about in terms of the intelligence so so how can i make something so can you give me some example so you know that these days self uh, i think what i was thinking you immediately tell me okay i was thinking that you know that uh, there is uh, on the in these new cars you can see there is a facility called uh, cruise control okay intelligent cruise control have you seen that if you go on a highway you yeah. press that particular button then intelligent cruise control is going to take you 
okay so it is a robot control it is going to apply the brake and uh, accelerator only these things are going to happen so brake brake and accelerator they are going to be actuated based on some that what is happening inside the environment and environment is not fixed so these kind of robot control okay i'm talking about okay all right so um, so these are the points okay do you have any question so i wanted to tell that expert task may in, uh, include engineering design thing that fault finding if there is a problem find out where is the fault you want to do a city planning or any kind of uh, thing planning medical diagnosis you want to do you want to do the financial analysis all these things are expert tasks not everybody cannot do this thing okay got it now i have a question okay and the question is this that can you tell me which is most difficult out of the expert formal and mundane if i say that this is a this is b this is c and why i am writing this okay this would be better if i write okay okay let me remove this thing i say that this is m this is f and this is e so what should be the order difficulty order can you tell me okay so i say that expert is more difficult and then formal then mundane is it right expert formal mundane okay everybody is there anybody who has red eyes efm mundane expert formal okay vs krishna is telling different f e m okay somebody is telling f e and m okay but the order is m f and e why i would not go into that particular detail i would only tell just think that what kind of thing you have seen a, a first what you can what kind of thing you have seen first have you seen first the system who is talking to you or have you seen something that some a robot that can do the operation <laughs> what kind of thing you have seen first i think you may have heard very uh, long back that now we have a robot that can do a laparoscopy i don't know that what kind of operation i am not going to the medical terms but robot doing these kind of uh, things are actually um, very uh, very early available and these things are actually being available very late okay even today if you want to find give me a good system that can talk to me is there any such system available no alexa is there but for, but with the alexa you can tell that alexa switch on my camera switch on my uh, switch off my lights only these kind of things are possible play this particular song but can you talk ki aaj mere pet mein dard hai maine kal ye khaya tha what should i eat today bata raha hai wo so talking is very difficult the speech and these things are very difficult and also let me tell you that this common sense reasoning is very uncommon I means finding out common sense is not that thing easy laughing on the jokes is very easy everybody laughs on, uh, on the joke but can the computer tell that i do you know it is a it is a joke very difficult task all right so you understood this particular part everybody okay happy that the most difficult thing is m most difficult thing is m then we can say the formal one because game thing also you have seen that now we have the very good chess players etc but we don't have the very good uh, thing for the speech and vision even today expert tasks the most difficult part is this this is the difficulty level common sense requires knowledge which is not already present into the machine inference is possible only from existing knowledge harshal you are correct all right is it clear any questions no questions okay so uh, let me tell you something okay and this is very interesting okay and the interesting thing is this that what is our stand and this is very important to know this particular side okay so from very outside whatever we are doing here is a computer science okay whatever we are doing here is computer science cs computer science and in computer science there are multiple things such as artificial intelligence is there so some some people are working on the network some for people are working on the operating system and other so many things so there are multiple things 
there, there are there are different things available and uh, out of them there are different thing uh, artificial intelligence is also one something that the people do can you explain about lab assignments sir so you you don't enjoy this session acha a t c h a y a acha okay you don't enjoy this session should i close it and talk about that you'd come to come back to that thing once again okay thank you okay so i was telling you that in computer science there are multiple things and uh, out of these multiple thing there is something called artificial intelligence okay okay so if you come inside the artificial intelligence you say that there is something called machine learning and also there is something else here okay there are also something here else why there is a space because there is something else so what is machine learning uh, i think i would give a brief understanding here machine learning is something that has a solid mathematical background uh, is wanting is waiting in lab can you verify this person identity admit okay there is some person who wanted to come inside yeah so i what i was telling that uh, in the in the machine learning domain in the machine learning domain what is machine learning if there are some technique to do the artificial intelligence actually when when we are inside here we are doing artificial intelligence so in the artificial intelligence there there are few things which have a solid mathematical background and which are designed to automatically learn something means you need not to specify the exact parameter the parameter are discovered automatically using some solid mathematical thing background those things are called the machine learning and what else we can do there is something else what else we can do okay and it is finding out the correct thing okay uh, can you explain about okay 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 ha huh? there is something else a machine cannot learn by itself okay tapas is telling okay we will discuss about that okay okay so what do i mean by this automatic learning we would also come to that particular thing a logic has to be part there okay correct so i wanted to tell this thing that what is outside here can you tell me that what is outside there if there is some solid mathematical background something is there then i say that it is machine learning and what is here hmm? give me some idea so le let me give you uh, give, give you a hint okay hint is this for example if i ask a question for example there is there is a there is a boy okay let's assume that everybody understand that he is an intelligent boy okay i ask from ki boy can you tell me that what is 5 plus 3 okay he gives me the answer is it okay how can he give the answer there are two ways can you tell me those two ways he have done the computation and give me the eight okay computed and second thing is this guess i know that probability of guessing is very less that he could be correct but who knows even if the things which have the very less probability happens uh, else if given in the input and expected outcome okay okay please keep writing i may not be able to answer everybody but if for something comes interesting i would definitely answer so so my point here is that what is outside maybe the guessing part maybe this asking for help from your friend friends help and then he answered it because i have asked a question he have given the right answer using something so he have used taken the friends help and given the answer so these things are here okay there could be other things which are actually outside here are you able to understand this part okay so what is here maybe the taking help from other satellite sources maybe the guess maybe from the past experience all these things comes here but if he is doing we are using solid mathematical background it is machine learning okay in the machine learning if i you come here if you come into this particular part again you say that there are two part something is here and something is deep learning okay dl means deep learning nowadays people lot of people are talking about deep learning and it is actually uh, telling uh, delivering many of the things to us so can you tell me that what is here what is here deep learning and what is this so let me tell you that into the machine learning various if you machine learning you develop the models 
if you go using the neurons neural network neural network based architectures then it is a deep learning otherwise it is what it is a simple machine learning so here decision tree uh, and uh, bagging boosting and uh, svm many uh, many other techniques come into this particular place okay so if you go towards the neural network based architectures then it is a then it is a deep learning okay to do the artificial intelligence multiple things are required okay multiple things are required okay what are those things uh, to to make the ai happening please focus everybody this is a very interesting slide okay i'm going to tell something very interesting to do the artificial intelligence you need ml also okay so whatever technique i am going to utilize over here is actually coming from the philosophy nobody is going to tell you this statement everything is coming from the philosophy do you know what is philosophy i am sitting in a room i am thinking that i have a big problem what to do okay aisa karte hain ki the way in which the human brain applies the things i am going to do to solve this problem or way in which the this Uh, when apple from falls from the tree why it is coming to the ground i'm thinking i was thinking something i looks like that it is it is kya kehte hain it is pulling towards the ground aisa socha it could be wrong i thought something it is coming from the philosophy i am thinking uh, i am thinking something so philosophy give you wild ideas that use the decision tree use when there are is a data use the maximum margin this is svm okay use hierarchical way of classification because things are hierarchically classified is decision tree okay use neurons neural network based architectures this is something use mul multiple layers of the things this is the deep learning okay generally into the when we we use the neurons na so it is expected that it is going to be trained using something called the back propagation so back propagation is going to uh, what i say the back propagation is not going to work if the things are going to be more um, densely connected and having the more than four or six layers it is going to fail but now the people has come up with a different kind of architecture such as cnn and other kind of uh, Uh, auto encoder other kind of structure using them they tell that now i can increase the number of layers if they can increase the number of layers it is called the decision tree so this is the philosophy is coming of philosophy that make the things into this in this particular way okay make a uh, uh, make a teacher student kind of relationship or uh, make a public uh, publisher subscriber kind of model whatever model is coming to you in front of you somebody was sitting in his side his room and he have actually thought about that and this is a part of philosophy from the philosophy things comes and they drive to the particular domain so what philosophy comes into the ai what is the thing that philosophy brings to the ai new ideas you understand so philosophy is needed in ai to bring new ideas nahi right? any questions on that yes okay then we need mathematics and statistics statistics what the mathematics and statistics do so mathematics is god if something is mathematically correct it is correct statistics says that if the lot of data is given to you it is going to be very near to its mean okay some kind of fundamental properties are actually shown over there okay so mathematics and statistics these are the very important things okay they brings the truth to the system if there is no mathematics you are telling me wrong okay it is wrong if there should be mathematical part in your logic if you are telling me something if you tell that sir population of india has grown from 100 crores to 105 crore so i can draw conclusions that it is in increasing but if you come to me and tell population of india is increasing doesn't make any sense okay if you tell like this i can give more things so so if you tell some things some words and it is mathematically sound 
then only it has any meaning once again what is the thing that mathematics and statistics brings to the ai correctness it should be correct make sense okay uh, cs machine learning yeah yes go ahead anybody asking the question what is the computer science everything is computer science machine learning means automated i am not going to tell that what is the right parameter if there is some method to find out this automatically i am i am good okay this perspective is brought by the cs and ml what perspective is brought by the biology linguistics and neural networks are the biologically motivated and from the human physiology and other things we bring many things linguistic is required because how we speak for the computer everything is fine but poem cannot be written into the code okay so is can we write something that this particular code and this particular code doing the same thing but this is more in kind of poetry so those kind of other things actually comes into the system okay so biology is important linguistics important okay this is important these things comes into the thing psychology psychology is important because human psychology because what happens na if you build a psychology is very very important if you build a system that is that does not know that what is the human psychology is so sometime it may do something that is not good for the hu uh, for the society let me give you a very crude example for example uh, why you go to the office and work to earn money okay why you earn money to buy a car to buy a house so what is the thing yaar you are going to office to do the work so sometime what was happening na please don't uh, uh, touch the but, uh, button button necessary i am getting some messages it is telling that recording has started i don't know whether somebody is uh, switched off that or not okay it also not good okay if sometime you do bad things to your recording okay no problem this is ultimately your class okay so i was telling about the philosophy so i was telling that why you do go to the office to earn money why you earn money to purchase a biscuit a toffee okay let's assume you want to purchase a car so who is stopping to go to the if you have gun so just just understand if i just say that your objective is to build a house and uh, get a car and get a lot of money so what is the way to do that you go and purchase a gun okay and you can go and uh, whoever is living into the house you tell get out you go to the showroom and tell them that give me the car you go to the bank and tell that give me lot of money okay you you can get everything in few minutes you are working whole life to do get these things they are in front of you why you are not doing because of psychology because of this human relationship that you know okay that this is not good this is wrong i should not do the wrong things i should do the good thing only if we remove this particular psychology part from the ai system would do start doing bad things understand okay okay all right i think you understand this psychology is very important otherwise the system would not be responsible response um, good so even if the people who have a lot of money they go to the jail only because of re this these region that they forget about the psychology what is good what is bad and they do the wrong things that is not needed okay so from the system we expect that these things should be there so this part is important uh similarly economics that is a very important part because uh, if you want to do something uh, you have to turn, think about the economics that uh, it should be viable Econ economy actually being the things that what is viable okay i can ask anything give me the moon i i want the moon this is not viable na because right now it is not viable ethically yes um, ishan is writing yes sir ethically sound system is a must so we bring ethics using psychology what is economics that this if two algorithms are there one algorithm is taking 10 minute and another algorithm is taking 5 minutes so you would choose the algorithm which take 5 minutes so these things comes from economy that how much you have to spend how much you have to save what you have to do 
so these kind of uh, money balancing and the resource balance balance all these things come from the economics very important discipline and uh, that involves many things no no eco psychology somebody is writing uh, how ethics is brought by economics no psychology brings these things okay i was talking about psychology uh, from the economics what it comes that how should i should use the resources in an efficient way this is only required needed okay so many things are needed into our system and uh, we already talked about this that uh, it's not that easy because uh, because we have seen multiple uh, things into our computer science domain such as russell's paradox uh, which says that let let's assume that i am going to make a list of uh, all the list into the world so i can make a list of all the songs by lata mangeshkar okay all the list of songs by lata mangeshkar list of people in in this world list of people playing game list i can make multiple list okay so the, there could be infinitely many list okay i can make the list of anything list of things i am um, kt is going to purchase list of things which uh, pulkit is going to purchase list of thing uh, raghav is going to purchase many list i can create and uh, russell's paradox says that now i am going to create a list which is listing all the list which are actually there okay okay if i am going to this particular list in this particular list whether this this list would also be there or not you know this is also a list what list i am talking about whether this list would also be inside this list or not so this is a russell's paradox so i don't know that whether this would be inside or not because it is not existing how can you put it there okay so this is a thing similarly the halting problem few minutes back we have talked about this that turing machines they computer not good computers are not good on everything a machine are bad in reading itself what it actually doing a computer cannot do that particular part so that's why halting problem there are few things which actually computer cannot do now you understand that few minutes back i think when we started our lecture one of our uh, the student have written this that we need knowledge we need knowledge to do something okay knowledge is very important if we have the knowledge then we can do some of the task okay so the task if you want to do if you have a knowledge you can do how to get that knowledge is important okay so let us try to understand that uh, that what is knowledge so can anybody define for me that what is so let's let us start by zero i say i ask that Can you tell me that what is data? Data is raw fact. Okay, if I if I give you some facts, though this is this is the data. For example, if I ask that uh, if I create a list of all the students which are there in my class, so this is the data. Okay, this is the data. This is a kind of data I can have. Mm. Okay, any questions on that? Data is a raw fact. Okay. If I ask you that what is information, can you tell me that what is information? Data is the smallest unit of information. Please don't use the other words. Okay, at the time of definition, this is a caution that I am going to give you. Okay, few minutes back, one of our student has also given uh, given this thing that when he was explaining automation, he he was telling the automation is something doing automatic. No, no, you cannot use this word right now. you have to use a different word okay to define the data you cannot use information because we are going to talk about the data information and knowledge then it becomes a confusion okay it becomes confusing use different words to explain the same thing okay so i am asking that what is data data is raw fact or values all of you agree on this okay yes yes everybody yeah now my question is what is information can you tell me that what is information information comes out of the data okay information comes out of the data for example if i ask that how many people whose name is starting from a so you have to apply a processing okay you on the data you apply processing on the data you apply a processing to get the output so information comes out of the data when you apply a processing okay and any problem on that you have a data you applied processing on this and after that you get info 
informations. Clear? Information is anything which have some meaning. No, no, anything. Nahi. Very specific. Okay. Because I have a question. I have a question that how many number of A's, how many people are there whose name is starting by A is a question. It's a meaningful thing. So information comes after processing. Please note down this particular part information. How can I get the information? I have to do the processing. So I, what is the processing? You go with each of them, pick out the first letter. If it is uh, A, then you count it. You increase the count, otherwise not. So you have to apply the processing. After that, you get this answer. I Can I ask another question? How many Bs? How many C, D, E, F, G, H, Z? And I say that I store this into a table. And now I ask you. One minute. When I ask that how many A's, you say that five, how many B's three, how many zero, how many one, zero, one, this. So this thing is this thing is information. Do all of you agree that this is the information? Yes or no? This is the data. On this data, when you apply the processing, you got these numbers. These numbers are actually these numbers are information. Ab uh, Narsingha is telling that data for a specific requirement. Abhi hum log, we would come to this once again. Okay, very soon we would come to that. Please focus on this. What I'm telling on the data, we have applied the processing. We got some output and this output is information because we wanted this and they, this has this has this is an information. Now I'm telling something else. Please focus on this. I'm telling if I store these things in a table and I ask another question that what is the summation of this particular list? If I ask that what is the summation of this particular list, maybe 100. This is the what what this 100 correspond that 100 number of names are there. This correspond to this thing. OK, at that time when I have asked, please focus on this. When I ask this, that what is the summation of the numbers into this particular thing? At that time, this 100 becomes what information? This is the information for me because you have to apply the processing. What is the processing? Sum up some these numbers. You have to apply the processing and after processing you get this number. This number is information. What is this number? This number is information. At that time you have applied this processing on this thing. This becomes data. This is data. So anything that is stored on which the processing is done. Is actually the data. So if I stored it somewhere so at the time when I stored this thing, it becomes data. It has no more information. Information is the immediate output. After that, it be, if you store it, it becomes what? If you store it, it becomes what? Data. And please note that this particular database, when it was being created, it was already data because somebody was giving you some value. Somebody was telling me the so these values are coming from uh, some of you are telling that name of the student is this name of the student is this you are getting new things and you are writing into your table at that time it was a data for you information for you but when you stored inside here this info that information becomes data now you are telling on this data i'm going to apply this processing one more thing that when i ask that how many is how many num number of a people how many people's with the name a you told me five this was a information, but whether the five was written anywhere here? No. Five was not written here. What does it mean? That information may not contain inside the here, it may not directly contain over there from here. It can be a kind of consolidation or anything else, may not directly available. However, I can ask this question also. Give me the name of the people whose name is starting by A. Give me the name of people whose name is starting by B, C, D. Again, I can make a list and this list would become the same list. But at the time when I'm asking that, give me the name of people whose name start by A, whatever your answer is, it is going to be what? Information. Once again, there are two parts. Okay. There are two parts. That is a data. There are two parts. One is called data on which you do the processing and you get information. Any doubt on this? Any slightest doubt? If you have, please let me know. I have spent much time today. I don't know why. OK. I told you that on this information, if you store it becomes data. 
and you again apply processing, you get, get information. You store it, it become data. Again, apply processing, you get what? Information. Then what, what is knowledge? Then what is knowledge? Where is the knowledge? Let me tell you what is the knowledge. Let me tell you what is the knowledge. Just focus, Karo. Okay, please, please understand that what is the knowledge. I have a list of students that are into WILP class, okay, AI class. People who are studying in AI, people who are studying deep learning, people who are studying machine learning, people who are studying OS, other, okay. In all these lists, if I see that how many people having name A, how many people having name Z, I say that people having the name A is actually larger than the people having the name starting by Z. This is the information. If you pick any list, most of the cases, the people whose name is starting by A is way larger than the people whose name is starting by Z or Q. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? If I pick any list, people whose name is starting by A is great, way greater than the people whose name is starting by Q. Okay. If I say that this is this is knowledge, please focus. I'm telling very important thing. If I say that this is knowledge, you can verify here. Knowledge can be verified. You can come here. You can verify. You can come here. You verify. You can come here. Verify. You can come here. Verify. It is across all the tables. Across all the databases. It is not for only one database. It is across databases. Something which is across databases and only can be verified on that database. How can you find out from this particular database? There is no way to find out this because you, if you have multiple databases, then only you can think something that what is the knowledge out of that. Otherwise, you cannot think. Using only single data, using only single database, you cannot tell that what is the knowledge. But multiple databases, if you have, then only you can think about the knowledge. So that's why the people who have the larger experience only they can tell that looks like that something like is happening. And their knowledge is, can be verified on this. Okay, looks like that everything is fine. Uh, from where it is coming? Philosophy. They were thinking that looks like that it is going to happen. And then they verified on the data, they come up with that. There is a strong disconnect between the information and knowledge. Information can become data and then produce another information. What I'm telling, please focus on that. Information can become data and it can provide another information. But it cannot go beyond this particular loop. Information and the data, they are inside a loop and they cannot generate the knowledge. To generate the knowledge, you ha have to use some kind of philosophy from where the new models are coming. And then you can verify that thing on your data and tell that, okay, I'm right, like something like that. And All right, so let me tell you one thing that uh, if you need an intelligence, so intelligence is going to do some task. And most of the time, these uh, can be uh, very easily framed as a decision problem. Uh, for example, if you are into some scenario and you have to take some decision, so multiple options are available to you. Out of them, you want to find out which is the best one for you. Then only you go for that. So, if uh, so, one method could be that you evaluate that how good these methods are. And generally, we do that. Okay, you find out that wow, how good this method is, how good this method, how good this move is. And based on that, you see, you say that this particular thing has a higher value. So I'm going to go into this particular. I'm going to take this particular move. And uh, this can be done using computer because computer are very fast. You know that human response time is 10 to the power minus three. However, the computer can work at the 10 to the power minus nine. So computers are very fast. 
and uh, since they are very fast they could explore all the possible next steps and choose the best one and choose the what is the next one then why we need the intelligence okay this is our question is that why we need intelligence any answer the actual answer the answer to this particular question is this that actually this is going to be exponentially large and that's why it is very difficult okay a very important thing comes uh, when we actually think in terms of the intelligence and something th that thing is called the rationality uh, what do i mean my my rationality is very important okay and uh, let me tell you that what is my understanding of rationality is uh, you know that judge okay judge uh, judge is sitting there and two lawyers are uh, lawyers are here for their clients they are going to put something on records they both are going to put something on record based on whatever is available judge gives a decision judge delivers a decision this decision whether this decision is correct maybe his decision could be wrong because there could be some other factors which actually not has been put on the table if those factor has put on the table then this decision could be d dash different decision whether this part is clear or not only this part okay judge is taking decision based on the things which is available to him okay if more fact has been available his decision could have changed but based on the decision he have taken this thing now the question comes based on the facts which are available here whether based on this this decision is can be drawn yes if yes then he is rational if no um, i i i beg pardon from <laughs> supreme court okay but i'm just telling you, let me remove the just part here okay i am sitting here okay let me sit here kt is sitting here okay okay kt <laughs> is taking decision if based on these factor this is the decision that should be taken for sure so if i take this decision i am rational otherwise if i taken this decision i am wrong okay i am not rational once again maybe d, d triple dash or d double dash any other decision if i take then i am not rational okay whether you understand the rationality part so once again the decision could be d d dash uh, even i cannot write d what kind of teacher you are seeing me okay so decision could be many let's assume the correct decision is, is this if i take this decision then i am rational if i take any other decision then i am not rational okay based on these fact we are eradicating this particular part that this is not available okay if it is it becomes available then the right decision changes i am not talking about that particular part i am not talking about that particular part if this has already also been included then what need to be done right now let's assume that those things are not available and based on this right decision is this then i should take this decision if i take any other decision i am not rational okay so you understand ki what is the rational system if you understand the rational system so uh, let's assume that this this is the rational system okay rational system and this is the human which somebody who a human are not irrational okay but the point is there there is some system, some because human sometime may differ even if um, you like samosa but if i give you samosa 3 days then you are going to kill me that every day you are bringing samosa okay so this is these kind of things okay so this is the rational decision that you like samosa but i am going to give you samosa every day human is very bad on that so human is here he can take anything so if you i go into this particular direction i am taking rational decision if i go into this particular place i am taking human decision if i go upside i am thinking in terms of the human if i go into this side i am behaving in times of in terms of the human 
so if i am here human i am thinking like human i am think like human if i am here if i am here i am acting like human okay if i am here so i i am thinking rationally i am thinking rationally if i am here i am acting rationally okay i am behaving rationally simultaneous things are also possible but you try to understand try to understand that what are the four different way, things you can combine them that is fine that is fine but these are the four different thing whether the system thinks in that particular term acts also into the same way or can act differently all these things are possible okay all those things are possible you understand rationality so maybe this user signing in data select user signing in where ai information was will the students join today ai information users who are usually regular knowledge will this study join today yes from knowledge Uh, Harshal, you can explain by saying, "Can you tell us a day-to-day real-life example of uh, Kushal? I think I missed your question. Uh, user signing in data select. User signing where? I am sorry, I could not understand this. Okay, let us continue with this. If you wish to ask any question, you can speak. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what I was telling that our objective as an uh, AI. This is a very important slide. Okay. okay this is a very important slide that tells that there is some environment and there is some intel there is some agent agent means a system a robot a program that actually acts on something anything anything that actually does something so it is an agent i am not talking about he is intelligent or not but if there is some agent it would percept the environment it would try to see that what is there okay it would it would get the state of the environment that what is environment means the world where he is living maybe what are the things happening around for which it has been trained so it is going to see that what is the status of the thing okay and then decide that i have to do something because he have to do something based on this state it takes some actions this action he performs on the environment and when he perform on the environment what happens state changes or even if it remains the same so change is zero so there is some change into the environment and this again he percept and perform the things after some time what happens he may get reward or every time he may get reward everything is possible so let me give an example let's assume that there is a chess game of chess that is going to happen so board positions are the environment okay board positions are the environment so agent is some uh, computer that is deep blue that is going to play this game so it is going to percept that what is happening what is what is here okay he wanted to see that what is the movement of different kind of uh, uh, things then he find out that this is going to be my next move and by this this particular um, board position changes to something else we say that change in environment and uh, whether he is going to get the reward maybe not right now but at the end if he wins he would be get, going to get the reward plus one or something like that so how come this uh, agent can decide that what to do he have some policy he have some policy means some function na that tells that if this is the if this is the um, environment then you take this action this particular function has has a technical name here we go we call it policy and uh, the purpose of policy is to maximize the reward he he need more reward whether this diagram is clear very simple diagram but very very important very important diagram okay 
uh, sometimes people talk about the strong and weak AI. Uh, strong AI is something actually intelligent system that actually is an intelligent system that actually does. Uh, what is what does reward mean in AI scope? Okay, reward means something that actually is in our in conscious mind. We want to do that. Why we are uh, why we are working because we want to uh, spend better life. So this is the reward. Maybe using money, if we, I can get the ice cream, then. I, every evening, if I can get the uh, chance to uh, purchase an ice cream, then it is going to be good. So maybe that thing that we want reward, we want money, we want something. So if it is connected something, it is not directly. You can say that directly, indirectly, in some way, this reward should be there. Okay. Then based on the reward, because we you want to maximize the reward, you can maximize the reward going into the particular direction only. So by this, you find out a way. Okay, maybe you want to improve the health. For that, is something you are doing that is not good right now. Okay, why people don't go to the gym? Because when they go to the gym at that time, they have to work hard. At that time, they feel tired. So it is a bad thing. Na? I want to get stronger, but I am feeling bad. So right now, I am feeling bad, but longer run, I would be able to get better health. Okay, so reward is what? How long I am going to sustain my life? How long I'm going to sustain my thing? How much I can um, pick the weights? Something like that. Right now, maybe I'm in bad shape because I am exhausted. I'm perspiring. I'm um, I'm tired. Everything is there. Uh, my legs are not able to move. Everything is problem. But you understand the reward, the concept of reward. Okay. A strong AI B system. Uh, there are very interesting names. A strong and weak AI. So a strong AI based system actually uh, there is some system. I'm not uh, I'm not going to the much detail. There is some system that somehow find out that what is the best thing to do. OK, figure out. But weak AI based system, they don't they don't make this program. OK, they don't make it this program. Somebody else had made this program for them. And he, this program is very good. And this program is very good that uh, it is going to give maximize the profit so he is able to do whatever he wish okay this if you see that what the performance you say that okay intelligent system is very intelligent so this is called the vki in the vki who has programmed the system somebody from outside in the strong ai who had programmed the system system in itself it has learned by itself so completely intelligent system is called the strong ai strong ai is a far reaching target vki is something that right now we are in so we are getting some answers out of that. Few minutes back, I have talked about that if a system that has a strong AI, if I can make make a system that has a strong AI, so let's assume that this is the system which has a strong AI, and side by side, if there is a human that is sitting on a computer, if somebody from outside try to interact with these machines. He knows that I'm interacting with A or B, but he don't know whether A is human or B is human. He don't know this. And he for sure knows that one of them is human and another is a machine. And he does whatever and he, he do, but he cannot reliably distinguish between the human and the machine, human and the computer. Then we say that the system has passed the Turing test. This is the kind of very different kind of definition that you see over here. And that is the only reason why this what the action this particular programmer have to take uh, it's not specified. So it is not reconstructable means uh, if he does something and uh, he he succeeds. T telling that uh, this is human, this is machine. Then next time if he uses the same kind of strategy, he this strategy would be fooled because now the computer knows that by using this strategy I was fooled. So I'm going to use this particular data for my training. Next time you cannot use the same thing to fool me. The computer would be able to pass that particular test. So it is not reconstructable. Uh, uh, reproducible kind of test means same thing. You cannot uh, use second time this kind of test, but get the idea that what is a Turing test. Turing test is something that if this particular person is not able to tell where is a human, where is a uh, AI system with with a high reliability, then we say that the system has actually passed. It needs many things. Okay, 
it need computer vision it needs robotics it need natural language processing knowledge representation automated reasoning machine learning many things is required then only the system this kind of systems can be built slowly we are getting the progress into this particular direction that is very interesting uh application of ai there is no such area where we cannot apply the ais uh, weather prediction stock market credit card fraud what not everywhere we can apply so this lot is just this slide is just for your uh, uh, reference i need not to tell about that but if we want to make a system uh, the approaches could be that how can we make a intelligent based system so machine learning is an approach in the machine learning approach could be that we give first we give the right example that look in this scenario you do this in this scenario you do this in this scenario it is so multiple scenarios are there for every scenario i am going to tell that what is the right thing to do if i go into this particular way it is called the supervised learning okay and uh, sometimes it may be possible that i don't tell that what to do you by yourself figure out that what to do and based on that you come up with the answer it is called the unsupervised setting if these two things you can understand then you can also understand semi supervised where for some of them i am going to give the right answer rest you have to figure out so this is the semi supervised setting and the settings are active learning where uh, where the agent uh, at the time of learning can ask the question that in this scenario what i have to do some at some cases he can ask the question so this is called the active learning this is very effective because the system would be uh, system would be asking question in those scenarios only when he is more confused so he is removing his confusion ultimately when the system does not have any confusion it is the best system so active learning helps similarly another method that is called a lazy learner it says i am not going to learn anything give me the data i am going to store somewhere at the time when you are going to ask me for the answer at that time i would do something to give you the answer this is important when the data is very um, when lot of data is there in some scenarios it is very much important and uh, you may have k nearest neighbor for example k and then uh, you may have approach where we expect that you would be some someone similar to the people who with whom you are living so what i what i said i said that for example if you are a cricketer so your friend would be cricketer if you are a faculty your friend would be faculty if you are a police your friends would be police if you are is is would be your friends so if i see that how many k number of people who are is besides you i can tell you that who you are uh another idea is reinforcement learning that actually says that when the scenarios if when very uh, weird kind of scenario it where the solution is actually direct way of finding out solution is not available and especially into the game playing kind of scenarios heat and trial method is actually applied and this is called the reinforcement where different kind of heat and right trans, uh, trial is done to find out the right solution transfer learning you are learning something to learn something else for example if you want to learn that how to ride the bike you have to first go and ride cycle deep learning when you are going to use the human like neuron based structures you are going to apply it is called the deep learning hope this slide is clear uh, any questions if you have in all the cases you have to challenges that how good my model is how to choose a good model do i have enough data um, whether the data is of sufficient quality how confident i am with the result am i describing the data correctly means multiple thing how fair the system is system should be able to fairly to everybody so these are very important question and after these questions people have tried to develop good system and very recently we have seen lot of progress such as alpha fold is a new thing that is able to tell you that 50 year old grand challenge on the biology and this is a database on which you have to predict that what is the accurately predict that what is the folding structure of a protein very interesting thing and uh, came out in november 2020 alpha fold has actually uh, increased the performance from 60% to i think uh, not 60% from 40 it was 
uh, 87% they have increased and after that 92 the latest version is 92 percent you, you can see that for very long time the system was actually having the foot around accuracy around 40 percent now the system has accuracy of 84.87.4 percent very interesting thing you have seen everybody have heard about the deep blue that uh, have actually uh, defeated gary kasparov and uh, uh, around long back 1997 very recently 2016 very complex game that was called the alpha go have defeated uh, lee saddle and lee saddle was thinking that the game was so difficult yeah alpha go so leaf they were thinking that this is actually very difficult for computer to win so five matches were played so he was thinking that he is going to win 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 but actually he he lost loss loss win loss okay this was the scenario that actually happened so why he was able to win it is also an interesting story actually what happens now out of all the available choices if you see that what is the probability of winning over here uh, there was a module that was applied that tried to give the freshness and it has picked that particular move which has a very less probability of winning and because of that particular component, he was able to win. Otherwise, he was also lost this match also. OK, uh, very soon we are going to see something, some driverless car. If you see that, uh, how good the systems are. So there is a German traffic sign recognition uh, benchmark database where traffic signs are there. So humans have the accuracy of 98.84%, but computers have the accuracy nowadays 99.46%, very high accuracy. This is another example where uh, street view photographs are actually taken and uh, we want to find out that what is the house number. So you know that people write the house number in very different way. Uh, so if you, somebody want to do it, it uh, may take years, but uh, within four hours, within two, I think two hours, the computer was able to do it correctly with all the things. Image search kind of things are also very advanced these days. So this is the Baidu search engine. And I think uh, two years back I have done this search. So if we, I send this image to we search over here and we got this result and you just see this result. Here is an elephant everywhere. There is an elephant. OK, uh, elephant is inside the grass everywhere. There is a grass elephant is facing frontal everywhere. It is facing frontal. Very different, very, very good kind of algorithm. Computers can explain that what is written, what is happening inside the thing. If this is an image, the it is writing the girl in pink dress is jumping in air. So computer can write these days. These are the cancerous tissues and we want to predict the survival rate of the cancer suffering. So they have the high accuracy as compared to the pathologist. Automatically finding out where is the problem, automatically uh, segmenting out the neuron uh, segments. All these things are possible uh, because of the AI. This is another exam example where, uh, where uh, an analytics, uh, a company called analytics uh, has actually, um, when you go to the physician uh, at that time when you are sitting, he, f he can talk to you that what is the problem you have and then he can consult a big database of the people who have already taken the medication and based on that he can come up with a prescription that looks like that these things are going to be good for you and this prescription is sent to the doctor uh, when you go inside your uh, to inside his chamber and then he decide that whether he is going to do or not very interesting things so um, ultimately four capabilities are needed okay such as uh, reading and writing speaking and listening looking at the things and integrating knowledge if these four category uh, cat capabilities are there then 80% of the tasks which the people do these days such as driving car preparing food diagnosing diseases etc can be done and uh, you know that human cap capability is also increasing with the with the slight rate but the machine capacity, intelligent capacity is increasing with very high. Nowadays, we are nearby somewhere here where we are about to cross this particular place. Very soon, this can happen. And we expect that uh, as other um, revolutions uh, actually has seen that initially there is nobody is buying that. After that, everybody is buying that. But after that, there is a saturation. It is not going to happen with mammal because better system are going to make even better system and we are going to we are expecting to see a um, exponential growth in this particular domain. Okay. 
huge history is there so i would not like to go into this uh, this history has been taught well into the recorded session you just see that that uh, very uh, from the very beginning people were thinking that we are going to talk about the um, machines which are actually going to have the intelligence and a uh, lot of things are there i'm not going to that particular detail uh, so that's all from my side thank you very much for joining this session uh, hope you enjoyed the lecture and uh, i would leave you with this particular uh, uh, conversation where uh, papa is asking from the kid if all your friend jump to the well will also you jump to the well the guy is telling yes <laughs>